In this segment, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, cleaning your grill. There's not a whole lot of cleaning you have to do on a Holland grill, but you, you do want to clean the outside a little bit to keep it looking good. And more importantly, we'll do that in a minute, we want to clean the inside. But first, what I like to do, and the grill cleans best when it has been heated up. You can heat it up. The next time you get ready to cook and clean it before you cook or clean it right after the next time but it just makes it easier to clean. One thing we like to do is sort of polish the outside. You get a little grime built up after months and months of cooking. So I'll spray some Pam or vegetable spray on a paper towel. You gotta be careful that stuff's flammable too. And then I'll just rub it in to the top all over and it gets a little bit of film of grease and it's kind of like waxing a car it puts a nice little polish on it you can see it gets some off spray a little more and clean the front now this can be hot because remember your grills on so you want to be careful don't burn yourself okay because when you get burned it hurts I'll clean the back a little bit but it's best to do that when it is warm it'll just clean off some of the grease film and then uh, do the top here a little bit and wipe down those chimneys a little and there you go let's put you a nice little coating on there now this is a little bit more difficult part but it's not bad uh, there's no reason to clean this up to make it look showroom new every time but as you cook and you can see this grill is hot so you're going to want to be careful not to burn yourself but as you cook this black crunchy stuff as I call it builds up on the grill and you want to keep up with that scraping it you can see even down inside the drip pan where all that black crunchy stuff is built up so what we'll do the grill's still on I've got the lid open we have a, a cleaning tool, our du dual scraper, and that's good to scrape the black stuff off the grill that's built up. You're letting it all fall down into the drip pan. So we'll get that good and scraped. If you want to use a, a brass brush, that's fine. But just be sure to wipe it down good after you brush it because those bristles tend to come out. So be careful with that. Now the, you want to do the underside of the cooking grid too, but keep in mind this is really hot. So an old rag or a pot holder or an oven mitt uh, is what you need here. So I'll kind of scrape the back side of this too, letting all that crunchy stuff fall down into the grill. Now get that when you're finished scraping, a good place to put this cooking grid with your pot holders of course so you don't burn yourself is back in the lid. Now you can see down inside I've got a little more scraping to do because it is built up quite a bit and that's what you should do. You should use your Holland grill and it's just going to build up like that. So what I want to do is scrape all of this black crunchy stuff down into the middle trough and then once it's in there I'll scoop it out and put it on a piece of foil or something to let it cool and then throw it away. So here we go. In mind it is hot so you may want to if you want to steady the grill make sure you got a pot holder or something to hold it so I've given a pretty good scrape all that black crunchy stuff is 
in the middle, most of it. And that's good. This is like an iron skillet. It's going to season and cure a little bit. You don't have to have it shiny and sparkly. But just scrape the, the bulk of that black crunchy stuff because if you let it build up too much, your grill may not heat right. And then when all that crunchy stuff gets heated up really hot over a period of time, it can turn to grease and you can have a grease fire. So it's very important to do this. Now with the other end of my dual scraper, I'll scrape out the drain trough. And keep in mind, you can see the heat coming off. It's very hot. Scoop that out, and I've got a piece of aluminum foil over here that I'm putting it on. Let it cool off. Because it will melt. If don't put it on a plate, or you can use a coffee can. Something that won't melt. Scoop all that out. And again, be careful. Don't burn yourself. Now I've got all that black crunchy stuff scraped out and I've put it on a piece of foil over here. I'm going to turn the camera over there to show you. That's really hot so let that cool down then just wrap it up and throw it in your garbage. But now that I've got all that crunchy stuff scraped out of the drip pan this thing is going to operate perfectly. One other thing that you want to do, make sure you do, is clean out the drain. We have a tool, a drain pipe cleaner, that we stick down the drain pipe hole, and that will always get clogged up. It's very important that you clean that out. And it can get in there pretty good sometimes. So make sure, two things, don't burn yourself, and clean out that drain really good. Because when you're grilling with the Holland, most of your your most of the time, 99% of the time, your drain is going to be open, and the drippings need to drip out of there into your drip bucket. And if that hole is clogged up, it'll prevent that from happening, and you can have a grease fire there. So be sure you can use a dowel rod or or a metal rod, but uh, this tool we make. The drain pipe cleaning rod is uh, is just made just for this purpose. Very important. So after we've uh, polished the top, I'll wipe off the edges a little bit. Maybe put a little Pam on my rag. Remember, don't spray it directly onto the grill. Just uh, spray it right onto your paper towel. Be careful. Not to burn yourself, wipe off, wipe off any excess grease. And then, with my pot holders or my rags, I'll put that cooking grid down there. And I'll just kind of give it a wipe to the edges. And that's it. That's about it on cleaning. Uh, the inside of the grill, of course we put the little polish on the lid. Uh, the best thing to clean the shelves with is uh, 409, something like that, a grease cutter and wipe off your side shelves and you'll keep that Holland grill looking great and cooking great. And that's how you clean the Holland grill.